Are we all safely gathered in? I think so. How do you adjust this mic? I'm crouching. Oh, that's better. Right, first of all, can I thank the singer who kept us entertained this afternoon, the lovely Melanie May, sang so beautifully for us. Um, we tried something a little different this year. We're not actually allowed bands on the site, so big amplified music, and so the singer works out rather well, I think. Um, I'd also like to extend thank yous to some of our club brothers who've come down and supported this event and put on some stands, especially the guys who've recently been to Bonneville. Uh, and I hope some of you had a good look around that and uh, some of our, our record-breaking team efforts. Also, um, we've got uh, the club regalia stand there, the stuff for sale and everything like that. And um, the drag bikes, of course, it's all part of our club history uh, that we'll be hoping to share with everyone here today. But um, anyway, on with the prize giving. Uh, the way we do this is we don't have categories. What we do is we just hand out some trophies to bikes and cars and whatever that we think deserve something. So we'll crack on with that then. And uh, first one up. Is the Harley uh, registration number FX09 FLH? Dramatic pause. Oh no, it's fired up. There we go. Well, I think you'll agree when you look at this one that the paintwork on this is quite something special, and there's a deal of work and effort gone into this. There's a lot been done but with the concept of less is more. Particularly love the black, black A-bangers, as anyone knows me, they work well for me. We're going to park all the show winners in a group at the end here so that you can take pictures of them if you want to at the end. Next up is a shovelhead. Uh, that's registration KKK272N. Honestly, you could not make that up, could you? Hurry up before someone tears the statue now. And it's Jono. <laughs> I'm sure he's won something before. I've actually owned a couple of shovels and none of them ticked over as nice as that. Must know what he's doing. Now we've got a BSA coming up, ADA 612, I think that's the vintage one. Yes it is, a big round of applause for this. It's always a pleasure to see these old things still running. What year is it? Oh, 1934. Fantastic. Actually runs better than my info. Now, uh, yes. We've got, is this the, the Honda 90 as is, as was? Coming up, PH37 or P437 F5G. He said without his reading glasses. 
Yes, it is. We had to give this a trophy for sheer nuts. I am informed by the owner that it's not a Honda 90. There's a big bore 140 motor in there. You maniac. That 140 motor has made it so much heavier, hasn't it? See, those few extra cc's make a difference. <laughs> right, uh, now the Norton, calf racer time, MNN148E. This is a really lovely example of the genre of this. We've had a look around this and there's a lot more going on than meets the eye when you first first glance at it. Yeah. If anyone's got a spare neutral, it will be glad to appreciate it. This is worth a closer look when you go and take pictures of them afterwards. Have a, have a good look at some of the work that's gone into that. Now we've got a car, and that's the High Boy Coupe KSK 169. Not bad, not bad at all. I don't know why he's got to put the sun out. Okay, and in honour of the occasion where we are today, of the venue, we have the Shuttleworth Collection Choice. So, uh, Helen from the Shuttleworth Management Team will be presenting the trophy to the bike that, in their opinion, they rather liked. And here it comes, Triumph Scrambler. That's a good choice in my opinion and a really nice, clean and simple example. Which brings us on to best in show. Uh, this is the only actual category we do really and we look around everything that's on display and then all the factors that come together that make us give an award and here it is. Again, have a look around this. There's been an attention to detail on this that is staggering. Yes, even down to a genuine oil leak. Not to mention what looks suspiciously like a valve guide seal. Going, gone. Getting worse. <laughs>
Many of us here have owned old bricks. We know. We know all about it. So that's it on the prize giving. Keep talking. Oh, I've got to keep talking. There's something else. <laughs> also, while I'm on the mic, I'd like to thank all the trade stands who showed up. Um, thanks for that. It's much appreciated. I know that the long-range weather forecast was pretty dire for this weekend, but we have been lucky. And uh, your contribution is greatly appreciated, so thank you. We've still got a few show t-shirts left as well, so if you've got a couple of quid on you, come and spend it. It's much appreciated. And now I'll hand you over to Bear. Well, first of all, I'd like to thank everybody that's, that's turned up. Uh, weather's been a bit of a mix. I'd like to thank everybody that's uh, helped out with the show. But especially, I've got some here for Lee. This is personal for uh, all the effort that he's put into ar arranging this and organising this. Right then, okay then, we'll wind it all up now. Um, a big thank you to the Shuttleworth Collection who let us host this event here. Um, which turned out to be the ideal site, I think you'll agree. Yes, and we were lucky enough to catch a glimpse of a hurricane as well. And uh, what was that other one? Was it an Avro? Yes, it was. It was an Avro. And here comes the weather. So thanks, everyone, for turning up. It's been a blinder. Um, safe ride here. Yes, and can you use the exit in the far corner, please, which takes you back out. If you're not familiar with the area, it takes you back into Old Warden Village. Um, that's for road safety reasons and whatnot. So, um, once again, thank you all for coming. Hopefully, we'll get to do it again, and the weather will be better. And if so, we'll see you then. Thank you.